Good day. As you know, there have been major changes in the world of education over the past few weeks and months. A new U.S. Secretary of Education, Delaware Governor and Secretary of Education. The inevitable hit state education funding will take in light of the projected $350 million state budget deficit, not to mention Delaware's plan to meet the new ESSA requirements. Yes, all of these are very important to us as educators, but they are not the reason for my coming to you today. These are things we have limited to no control over. Without question, all of them will have varying degrees of influence on us that will require some type of action on our part in both the short and long term. And that's just the politics of education. Today, we need to move forward with what we do have control over, our district success plan. As our high school students took their midterm exams last week, it made me think back to my teaching days as a high school social studies teacher. While many of the courses I taught were the same, each class had its own personality and unique learning needs. The success of my students for the final two marking periods laid squarely in my ability to differentiate their learning experiences and my ability to capitalize on the relationships that I had worked so hard on building with them during the first semester. I wouldn't say we worked harder in the second half of the year, but I worked smarter strategically taking advantage of student interests and learning styles to bring out the best in each student. Obviously, quite a bit of time has passed since my days in the classroom and the learning needs of today's students are different than those of more than 15 years ago. What hasn't changed is the fact that students learn best when learning experiences are interesting, relevant, and capitalize on learning styles and preferences. In my welcome back video last August, I mentioned that I needed your assistance in helping to define what the modern learning environment should look like, how to not only meet the learning needs of today's 21st century student, but to provide our students with a distinct advantage or edge the Brandywine Edge, as a direct result of our programming. I've asked our building principals to reserve staff meeting time in March, April, and May to engage you in related conversations and to send me feedback and insight based on these discussions. I look forward to receiving your feedback. In closing, I would again like to thank you for your commitment and dedication given to our students during the first half of the school year. And I want to thank you in advance for the outstanding customer service and professionalism in meeting the needs of students in the months ahead.